running, you wouldn't be having these issues of pack rats. Perhaps Can the I problem you? is you and the fact that you have an unkept house that has pack rats in your garage. Let's talk about that for a now little that's while, that's everybody, shall we? no matter where you are. That is everybody. Let me tell you, if this makes you, I'll make you feel a little bit better here. At, I think one, it's at one point when I was in college, I went so long without changing my oil, and I don't remember why. Right. I don't know when it was that someone finally reminded me that I was like, oh, I might need to do that. And when I went, the, it was so bad, they were laughing at me. <laughs> I bet. I walked out, and they were like, we just want you to come see something. And they, every mechanic in this shop was in tears. <laughs> they were laughing. And when I saw what I had done by not changing my, it's a miracle my car was still yeah. running. Yeah. They're like, thank you for bringing us to the desert, because that's how dry your engine is. <laughs> it was so bad. When, when I first moved out here, I had, I bought it new at the time. It was a 91 turquoise Honda Civic Si. Okay. <laughs> does that not you scream? purposely bought that? Does, does that not scream 90s, right? It screams I something. A, I got a fleet deal on it, you know? <laughs> right? So by the time wow. I put so many miles on that car. I bet when, you got a lot of dates. When, uh, when, I, why are you going to do that to me? Why are you going <laughs> to just open what? a wound? Teal. Here comes April Madison with the with the container of Norton salt. Just <laughs> can large, I say? Can I say? Can I take grain. it back. I take it back. That sounded so superficial. <laughs> uh, like it has in, anything to do with the car you drive. I take I know, it back. You know, at the time when I had that car, I had bleach blonde hair and a goatee. So you do the uh, best. Then I bring it back. Exactly. I'm sure you had a lot of dates. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I have photos to prove it. You won't ever see them. Why would I ever? Why would I not? believe that. I can't imagine you'd make that story up about yourself on purpose. I had run that Honda into the ground so bad that when I got my first job here in 99, okay, I had it towed out here behind the U-Haul. The thing was only running on three cylinders. <laughs> so it wouldn't, like it had like a top speed of like maybe 60 and half the time it just poured black smoke out of the back of it. <laughs> so whenever I left the old radio station, if I was leaving, if anybody was outside having to smoke or whatever, like oh, get inside everybody. John's leaving. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. I can't believe you paid the money to tow it. I think I would have just loved it wherever it was. And the funny thing is now, you flash forward. Can I just forward, keep the U-Haul? I'll just drive this back and forth. You flash forward 14 years later, and what I'm going through right now is not all that different. Right? Than, yeah. Yeah, so you learned a lot. I'm learning a lot about me, apparently. And it's not good. <laughs> well, but it's, it needs to happen. It does need to happen, yeah. It's, it's knowing is half the battle, right? <laughs>